besides being two famous rappers who have made several collaborations. Drake and Rick Ross are two great tycoons who know how to multiply their fortunes. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Rick Ross and Drake. So let's fight! Luxury Shopping Both singers have more than enough money to enjoy a lot of luxuries, but which one has the habit of spending the most money? Drake, for example, has a lot of jewelry in his closet. Drake is always posting on his social media his rings, necklaces, and medallions that are massive gold and filled with precious stones such as diamonds. Recently, he ordered a necklace consisting of several hearts and weighing 100 carats and costing an unbelievable $1 million. When it comes to watches, Drake invests a lot of money. He has already shown on his Instagram, for example, his sophisticated gold Rolex chrome hearts valued at $200,000. One of the models he has is the Jacob & Company. Astronomy Casino, an accessory that surprises in details and that costs $620,000. He has also gifted himself with the super rare Richard Mill 056-02 model, which costs $2.2 million. Rick Ross, on the other hand, is always posting pictures of his new acquisitions, like custom-made jewelry worth a real fortune. The rapper, for example, had customized a key to be used as a pendant on the necklace, being made of gold and covered in diamonds, an item that cost to his pocket $25,000. Another accessory that was covered in diamonds was a basketball to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Miami Heat team, which must have also cost a huge amount. Rick Ross is also always wearing beautiful jewelry on his hands and neck, such as thick gold chains and precious stones. One of his most exaggerated chains features a portrait pendant of Rick Ross himself, which has been appraised for around $1,500,000. Another accessory that can't be missing in the rapper's outfits are the watches. One of the simplest models he owns is a Rolex Day-Date President made in yellow gold with diamond-studded dials and a green dial, an item that costs around $70,000. Another watch from Rick Ross collection is an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak made of white gold, entirely decorated with diamond baguettes, quite an eye-catching jewel that is worth around $130,000. However, when it comes to the brand Richard Mill, the rapper has a special model of the Abu Dhabi collection, made of transparent material, with sapphire crystal and blue details, a watch that costs about $600,000. Raising the price even higher, he owns a Jacob & Co. Mystery Turbillion, an emblematic watch with diamond discs that rotate around the central axis and mark the hours in a very mysterious way, living up to its name. And to have such a jewel, you need to invest an impressive $1,350,000. From this same luxury brand, Rick Ross has shown on his social media one of the most expensive watches that exist in the market, the limited edition billionaire Ashoka model made with more than 500 pieces of sapphire scattered all over the bracelet. No wonder that this precious watch is valued at an unbelievable $2 million. As they both spend a lot on jewelry, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Real Estate Both rappers don't like to skimp on good real estate, but which one owns the most luxurious property? Rick Ross, for example, recently acquired a summer home in the residential landmark ranch estates in the city of Southwest Ranches, in the U.S. state of Florida. Beautiful landscaping adorns this 2.33-acre lot along the expansive entrance worthy of a palace. The facade is imposing and quite eye-catching. This 8,600-square-foot property is perfect for entertainment, with it having an indoor summer kitchen, a large comfortable movie theater, a massage room, a sophisticated bar with custom cabinetry, and a game room complete with a pool table. For someone with a passion for cars like Rick Ross, the property is ideal as it has a garage with space for up to nine cars. The main house has four bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms. There's also a guest house with two bedrooms and one bathroom. The chef's kitchen is classic and refined, being integrated into the living room, which is illuminated by extremely luxurious chandeliers. Outside, the view is really stunning, typical of a luxury resort. The pool has an irregular shape, resembling a natural lagoon. A waterfall next to it further enhances the leisure time, with it having a hot tub and a slide for fun. 
The property was owned by NBA player Amari Stoudemire until in 2021 Miami native Rick Ross bought the mansion for $3,500,000. The rapper also owns a 54,000-square-foot palace, located on a plot of massive 235 acres of land in the town of Riverdale, in the U.S. state of Georgia. Nicknamed the Promised Land, the residence is certainly a material asset that Rick Ross is very proud of, as he doesn't skimp out on the posts on his social networks showing details of this mansion. Being always surrounded by numerous luxury cars, the facade of the house resembles a real palace of a lucky king. Throughout his large plot of land there are several ways for the rapper to have fun. He has, for example, a paddock for breeding strong horses and giving them have plenty of room to live a golf course to have fun with friends, a giant, comfortable movie theater, some artificial lakes that beautify and refresh the property, a giant pool considered the largest residential pool in the entire United States, with an impressive 350,000 gallons of water. It is also known that the property has a total of 109 rooms, and that they are extremely exquisite, with gold details in the chandeliers, walls, and beams. One room that draws a lot of attention is the entrance hall with two giant circular staircases and a very high ceiling that offers great amplitude to the place. And to take care of all this infrastructure, the rapper certainly has to cash out a pretty penny. Just to cut the grass and keep the lights on, he said he used to spend about $1 million a year. But if you think that the property only provides expenses for Rick Ross Pocket, you are mistaken. It was once used as a set in the Eddie Murphy movie, Coming to America, serving as the Palace of Zamundan. And to rent it on that occasion, Ross says he pocketed $2,750,000. In addition, the rapper has already given interviews in his house, showing a little more of the interior decoration. And it is possible to note that he loves paintings and works of art. This property belonged to former boxer Evander Holyfield until in 2014, Rick Ross bought the estate for a great price, paying at the time $5,800,000. But after the rapper made purchases of neighboring land and made major renovations to the residence, surely it must be worth much more today. Drake, on the other hand, owns a mansion located in the Canadian metropolis of Toronto, his hometown, an upscale neighborhood full of mansions. It is a veritable palace of 50,000 square feet built in classic historical style with contemporary touches, meeting all of Drake's requests for a mansion made of top-notch materials. Another environment that draws the attention of anyone entering the house is the suspended staircase, which also has impressive custom-made chandeliers, which, in addition to illuminating, reflect in the various mirrors on the walls and serve as decoration. All the details are of overwhelming luxury, like the suite's bathroom, which has a dressing table and a sculpted marble bathtub that cost the singer £4,000, or $5,300. Already one of the favorite corners of Drake's residence is his 3,200-square-foot master suite. One of the singer's demands was the construction of an indoor basketball court of NBA regulation size. It was beautifully decorated and crowned by a pyramid skylight in the ceiling, as well as having a big screen and digital scoreboard. The leisure facilities do not stop there. There is a covered and shaded swimming pool inside the residence, which can provide many relaxing moments. To complete the design, there are LED lights in pink and blue. And some sources claim that this incredible mansion built by Drake is currently worth around $100 million. There is definitely no one who says they would refuse to live in such a palace. And for owning such a luxurious property, Drake wins this round. Point for him! Cars! Both tycoons are completely passionate about cars, but which of them owns the most valuable vehicles? Rick Ross, for example, seems to be completely passionate about cars, owning a huge fleet of luxury vehicles such as $55,000 Tesla Model 3, a $60,000 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, a $100,000 Ferrari 308 GTB, a $115,000 Hummer H1, a $130,000 Chevy Bel Air from 1955, a $160,000 Mercedes-Benz AMG G63, a $260,000 Ferrari 488 GTB, a $270,000 Ferrari 458 Spider, a $300,000 McLaren 720s, a $310,000 Ferrari 458 Speciale, a $330,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost, 
a $340,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith, a $370,000 Rolls-Royce Dawn, a $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador. And all of these cars are just a small fraction of his collection, so it's no wonder he has even created a page on his website listing his entire collection of classic vehicles. To give you an idea, it is estimated that Rick Ross owns a fleet with more than 100 cars, which surely must be worth a real fortune. Drake's garage is home to a vast collection of luxury cars. A Lamborghini Aventador LP 700-4, a sports car that looks like a Batmobile and costs around $350,000. A Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, a classic vehicle that gained in its production a modern touch, and that depending on the version and year, can cost up to $400,000. A McLaren 657 LT, a sports car that can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3 seconds, and that is worth around $400,000. A Rolls-Royce Wraith, a powerful and dynamic V12 engine vehicle that costs around $600,000. A fully customized Mansory Rolls-Royce Ghost, including an iconic solid gold owl symbolizing Drake's record label. And some sources claim that this little toy of the rapper is worth around $700,000. There is also a LaFerrari that draws attention wherever it goes by its yellow color, which is worth about $1.4 million. And finally, a rare and exclusive Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir, worth an impressive $2.2 million. Although Drake has more expensive cars, Rick Ross seems to have a bigger garage, so we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Business As well as being great rappers, they also have other lucrative ventures, but which one stands out more in the business world? Rick Ross, for example, has as his most famous company the music label Maybach Music Group, which was founded by the rapper in 2008, and which has released hit albums by artists like Whale and Meek Mill. In the food business, the rapper currently owns more than 25 franchises of the American restaurant chain Wingstop, and also owns franchises of the drive through Checkers. To get an idea of values, his franchises raise his estimated monthly income some $585,000, according to Hot New Hip Hop. In addition, the rapper is a representative of not just one, but several brands of drinks. The biggest of them is Lou Belair, which produces champagnes for all tastes, with various flavors on the market. To give you an idea, the brand's Instagram has an impressive 600,000 plus followers and is a true bestseller in the United States. While he is definitely not the owner of Lou Belair, he is a spokesperson for the brand and certainly receives commission for selling the drinks. This is also the case with the Bamboo Rum Company and the Gin Brand McQueen and the Violet Fog. Another release from Rick Ross was Collins Avenue, in partnership with cannabis brand Cookies, a flavored snack inspired by the rapper's identity. He also invested $1 million in the startup JetDoc, a digital health platform that aims to connect users to a licensed healthcare professional quickly. Not to mention his long history of advertising campaigns for companies like Rap Snacks, Reebok Sportswear, Ciroc Spirits, and others. In all, Rick Ross has about 17 partnerships, which definitely makes him huge piles of money. As if all these sources of income weren't enough, William Leonard has already released three books, his autobiography, the memoir Hurricanes and the bestseller The Perfect Day to Boss Up. Drake, on the other hand, has many companies to his name. The parent company behind Drake's investments is called October's very own, better known as the abbreviation OVO, founded in 2012. The company functions as a music label responsible for releasing artists such as Party Next Door, Magic Jordan, Roy Woods, Popcon, and Baca Not Nice. In addition, the company advertises products online and has numerous physical stores that sell a variety of items, from clothing to laptops, which grossed about $50 million in 2018. Drake's other business is Dream Crew, a management company and entertainment group, producing movies, television shows, and series, such as the famous Euphoria, which airs on the HBO channel. Already a big basketball fan, the rapper is an ambassador for the Canadian team Toronto Raptors, and there is no denying that he was at the forefront of the great transformation that took the name of the forgotten team into one of the most popular franchises in the NBA. He also has his own radio station called Sound 42 for Sirius XM. Last but not least, the businessman has the beverage company Virginia Black, which sells sophisticated whiskey. The brand has grown exponentially, 
due to the rapper's strong appeal and its promotion, especially in social networks. This is because Drake has a large audience that follows him, such as an impressive 120 million followers on Instagram. Still talking about marketing, the Canadian also makes money starring in campaigns for big companies such as Apple Music, Sprite Soft Drink, Air Jordan Sneakers, and Nike Fashion. And since they both have a lot of businesses, points for both of them. Net Worth As two successful rappers, everyone knows that they have amassed huge fortunes. But which one has the biggest net worth? Rick Ross, for example, has already made a lot of money from music. Having been in the media for quite a long while, the rapper is from a generation of artists who have made a lot of money from selling records, CDs, and DVDs. Since Rick has released 11 albums over the course of his career, he has certainly pocketed a pretty penny. In addition, his shows represent a good portion of his earnings. It is estimated that at the peak of his career, around 2014, the rapper charged an average of $200,000 to perform at an event, a fee that could be much higher depending on the size of the audience and duration. Adding up his artistic earnings, Forbes magazine estimated the rapper's earnings at $6 million in 2013, making him one of the highest paid artists of that year. However, in 2017, Rick Ross is estimated to have made something around the $11 million figure. But since he has numerous other businesses and ventures, with high caches and secret contracts, it may be that this figure is being underestimated. However, for being a guy who appears in the news for getting into trouble for past due tax payments, it is clear that there is a lack of financial control on Rick's part. And perhaps it is because of this, and also because of his very lavish lifestyle, that many portals estimate his net worth at a relatively small amount, in the region of $50 million. Drake, for his part, is not far behind. At the time he started performing on television, Drake earned only $50,000 a year in salary. That equates to about $2,000 a month after taxes. So definitely, what changed Drake's financial life was music. Already with his concerts, some sources claim that his fee is around $1 million. In his 2018 Summer 16 tour, for example, he performed 56 shows and made about $84.3 million. In addition, the Canadian makes a lot of money from advertising, such as his $15 million contract with Apple Music and also from his successful ventures. Taking into account that Drake is only 34 years old and already totals more than 10 years of fame, with all the information in the video, it can be said that the rapper has accumulated a great fortune. And although it is not known for sure what Drake's real fortune is, taking into account the value of his assets and his very diverse income, it is speculated that his net worth is close to $300 million. And for having a higher estimated fortune, Drake wins this round. Point for him. At the end of this fight, we have three points for Rick Ross against five points for Drake, who wins this battle hands down. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.